Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from Info, and today we take a look at WAGS1258, Mr. WAGS here, in the VK4502B. Weird ass tank. <laughs> but this thing is pretty much made for side scraping. Um, so let's take a look, what is the, the team composition here? We're fighting a Conqueror, M103, a T10. IS-60, 34, 30, ISU-152, that's a nasty one, two Yak Tigers, 88. Shouldn't have too much trouble with those, I don't think they have enough pen to actually be able to annihilate us. There is artillery, which is bad, because, um, yeah, we're looking for the cover. I can't quite find it. it it's not here. No cover. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens. First up is Nia 6. We don't quite have the depression here to shoot him over this uh, ridge line here. Amex 50T and our team there. Or, uh, Amex. FCM 50T is getting murdered. Lost most of his health already. Looking for the shot on the hatch there. Can't quite make it. Gotta be careful. If we do get spotted, then artillery is gonna rain down on our face. Oop, that one's slightly low. Went straight for the gun mantlet and just decided to glance off. Careful that we don't back up too far, because then the Conqueror will actually get a shot into us. ISU on the enemy team has already lost half his health, that's good news for us. Trying to go for the very thin line that you can shoot on top of the R6. If you have a big enough gun and enough uh, penetration, but mm, not that easy. No, we don't have a good shot really. I mean, you can go for... Nope. This thing does not really have the accuracy to be sniping. So, so far we fired two and we bounced one. I was thinking, like, did we even hit one? But yeah, we did hit one, but didn't actually penetrate. Don't really have to fear the IS-6. Like, he doesn't have enough penetration to really uh, be able to do anything to us. Looking for that hatch shot. Don't quite have it. Ferdinand getting deleted by the artillery. And we're not doing too hot. Looking for the shot there, upper plates, through the driver's hatch, there we go, finally, connect a shot that actually pins on the middle upper plate of the I-6, there's a square hatch, it's a driver's hatch, it's actually quite a bit weaker than the rest of the armor there, so that's where you should shoot it, like right underneath the gun pretty much, like on the upper frontal hole there, but right underneath the gun if it's looking straight at you, if it's centered. Teammates going down, um... I would say possibly could have moved in a little bit sooner here, put some more pressure on. Um, but it doesn't really work at the, the all the people on your right die, because then you're just going to be boxed in and basically left out to dry. So I, I personally probably would have pushed forward a bit earlier in, um, rather than sitting this far back. But the problem is there's more TDs behind there as well, so you can't really push it too much. This is one of those maps that um, I really don't like. Um, the way it was at this point, I think it got changed up a little bit since then. Put a good shot into a T-34, who actually managed to pen us through our tracks and actually do damage. We're definitely going to reload before he will. It's taking another shot from the IS-6, doesn't actually pen. Should be able to finish off a T-34. Oh, that is unfortunate. 16 health, but he does take off our tracks, doesn't actually damage us. Same for the IS-6, and the T-34 gets finished off, we have Yak Target 88, put a shot into him, um, probably a more dangerous tank right now than the IS-6, so not a bad idea to actually go for him. And since he's still sitting there, he's probably engined. And boom, finish him off as we take another tracking shot, and we're decently angled for everyone here. We're bouncing like crazy. Gonna put one into the Tiger P there. Flat front of the turret. Should have more enough penetration to actually go through there. Taking more shots to the face. Getting perma tracked here. We still have a repair kit, but we are not in a horrific position. Looking for the shots. There we go. He's uh, de angled his armor by dropping his front forward. That actually decreases the angle of his upper front plate, so we can actually put a shot into it. Wiggling the turret here a bit, and come on, putting another shot into the Act Tiger 8.8 and finishing him off. Still have a Conqueror to deal with, we did get some support from the back, artillery has been raining down on these guys as well. 
IS-6 on the enemy team went back to base to defend against the Waffentrager and the AT-15. And we still have this lovely Conqueror to deal with. If we can keep him in place, the artillery will rain down on his face. Come on, just stay there, Mr. Conqueror. Artillery is still aiming in. Oh, good shot there. Good damage roll from the artillery. Puts him more than comfortably within the zone of us being able to kill him. We do have a shot at his engine deck. As long as he didn't miss there, that would have been the kill. Only two tanks remaining, IS-6 and a Ferdinand now. Still potentially dangerous tanks, but things are definitely looking up a little bit for us here. That was quite dicey, holy crap. I'm not sure how many he was up against, but... Like alone, quote unquote, you know, the only one here. Um, but yeah, there was two Yak Tiger 88s, there was the... Uh, Tiger P, there was a T-34, the IS-6 was there but left, and there was the Conquerors, there were five tanks there. Now we did have some help, of course, from the artillery, side shot into the 30, almost impossible to miss, good shot, good amount of damage done. I don't think Wags here has six cents, but maybe I just missed it. Doesn't seem like he does. So, Wags is getting a little bit pissed at the Leopard. Leopard is sitting in the back. Of course, can't quite see what he's doing. He's actually moving away from the enemy base. You know, where the last two remaining ones are. Could have been spotting for... Hmm, I don't know. Who would be able to shoot at him? Oh, right! The artillery! <sighs> okay, he's finally going forward again. IS-6 spotted. Gotta be careful, because that Ferdinand definitely knows where we're at, so... We might actually get a face, uh, a face full of shell if we come around this corner here. Can we get a shot? Oh, we do have a shot. Oh, oh, oh. And he gets finished off by the artillery. Artillery is pretty on ball in this game. We're putting in some good shots, especially when uh, Wags there was up against a whole bunch of them. Ferdinand is at pretty low health. I'm going to assume that the Leopard prototype is going to finish him off. Or the artillery. Might very well be the artillery at this point. Come on. Ooh, takes a big old shot to the face. Fernand only has to put one more show into him. I think he can do 480 in a high roll. Oh, but he gets finished off by the Leopard prototype, and that is GG. Whew, that was quite hairy. <laughs> Let's take a look at the stats. And here we are with the stats. Um. I was just reading the text here. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a spoiler there, but yeah. He thought it was a goner. It kind of looked like it. Like I said, there were five tanks there. Now, we did, definitely got help. But seriously, 11 against five tanks in an open field, uh, that's pretty good. Now, this thing is pretty dang tough from the front. It is hard as hell to pen this thing. So, you know, there's that. The enemies should have completely, absolutely, and utterly just gone in and around him. <laughs> they had him permit tracked, move up, go around, shoot him in the side, shoot him in the back. As soon as one tank gets around you, you're a goner. Like, if there's multiple shooting at you. Like, a bit of teamwork on the enemy team, and this more than likely would have been a win for them, but because they all sat there like dummies and just shot at his front and his tracks, they were just not doing anything. So, all they literally had to do was move up, and they would have... Mo not more than likely, but quite possibly have won this game. They wouldn't have lost probably at least half the tanks there, and they still would have had three to four extra tanks there. Possibly. Uh, yeah, that, that was pretty stupid. Um, so the Tiger P was definitely there, the Conqueror's there, Jack Tiger, uh, Jack Panther, and Jack Tiger. No, not Jack Tiger. J Panther, there we go. Jack Tiger, damn it! <laughs> it's been too long since I've played this. The 8.8, .8, there we go. Um, both of them were definitely there. T-34 was there, so pretty much most of these tanks, except for the 30, were there. And the I-6, because he moved off, but... Mastery Batch, first class, we've got a Shellproof Duelist, Fire for Effect, Steel Wall, and a High Caliber. Let's take a look here. 5,158 damage done, wow. 3 kills and 1,263 base experience. Holy flippin' balls. Pretty much almost double what the next person did. Not too shabby. Already didn't do too bad either. Um, eh. 
7 shots fired, 1 direct hit, and 6 splashes. Fired 14, hit 13, penned 11, 5.1k damage done. But it looks like 2 shots were from range. Ooh. Um, we took 29 hits to the face, only 3 of them penetrated, 26 did not for... S wow. 7600 damage blocked by armor. Between damage 7, kill 3, 600 spotting damage with a premium account, made 51k profit. Otherwise would have still raked up uh, 25k profit, so not bad. Even without premium would have made over 6.5k experience, but with a premium account and a 5 times wow, bonus, probably a weekend or event or something, plus a personal mission, <laughs> wow, puts him at 10,000 experience. Whew, that's a hefty amount of experience. Congratulations on that one, even though this was a while ago. This was uh, about a year ago. <laughs> but yeah, in case you're wondering why I'm showing these old replays, all the 9.17 replays are completely bugged for me and my computer will crash if I start to record them. Um, it will even start crashing when I'm starting to play them. So, can't record any 9.17 or 9.17 test server stuff. It just doesn't work and it crashes, so... I'll have to try again at some point if they update to 17.1 or something, I don't know, I'll have to try again, but for now I'm just sticking with the old replays, they're just as fun and they work, so less stress and annoyance for me, because it doesn't crash, yay! So thank you guys for watching, if you liked the video give it a thumbs up, if you want to see more, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.